Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Greta if you are new here. And yeah, it's warming up. Summer's here. Everyone has these summer plans. They're going on a summer vacation and people are kind of, you know, circling around their collections or looking to buy something new and are looking for some summer fragrances. Fig is one of my favorite summer fruits and I am doing the fruit series. So I'm trying to just gradually like roll out a different fruit regularly, like maybe once a week or every 10 days or so. So I have for you my top five fig fragrances. Figs in a bunch of fragrances. I have quite a few and I've kind of been on this quest looking for a really good fig fragrance. One that is fresh and fruity and summery since that's when they bloom, the end of the summer, kind of almost going into fall, depending on which variety of fig, not to get crazy, but um, so I look for something that has a true fig fragrance that smells like I'm under my tree eating a nice plump purple fig is what I look for. So that and a little bit of longevity because some of them I find don't have great longevity. So these are my five favorite ones. So it's been a crazy week. I have so much to tell you guys about. I have really, really cool things coming up. I just can't tell you about them yet, but I have some really exciting stuff I can't wait to share with you guys. But soon, very, very soon, I'm going to be able to share this stuff with you. And I cannot wait. I really can't. It's just, yeah. Okay. First, I do want to mention one that has been on my list to get I don't have it. I did get to try it at Heathrow uh, two months ago, and it is by the Dior Privé um, Ballad Sauvage, I think. Ballad Sauvage, and it's a fig fragrance. It's a little bit more than that. It's not just fig, but fig is in there. I do like it. I heard they discontinued it for the US. I think you can still get it in Europe though. Um, it's been on my want list, and it is a good fragrance to choose also. But these are more fig fig tray. So let's get into those. The first one I have is by Carna Barcelona. Carna Barcelona is a great brand for summer fragrances. Them and Mikalev just, they have a nice light translucence that just makes them so beautiful in the summertime. Not the entire collection, they do have heavier ones, both those brands, but they just, in general, the bulk of the perfumes they have just work beautifully in the spring and summertime. So it's kind of where I turn my attention to typically. But this one is Fig Man. I only have the 10 ml from the um, advent calendar at Christmas time. Fig Man, I wore this yesterday, is a gorgeous, vibrant fig. You're getting the leaf, you're getting the fruit, you're getting all of that. And, but the creaminess in there that you get, um, I get like a shaving cream kind of vibe. Now, this is something I definitely could rock. It's not so masculine. I can't wear this. However, it's not something I would wear trying to be feminine or on a date or something like that where I really want my femininity and my feminine energy shining. It's not something I would wear in that situation for that, but it's definitely something that I can carry off. But it definitely has a little bit of a shaving cream, like a shaving foam kind of vibe to that creaminess, but I kind of like it. Like, I kind of like it in the same tone. Maybe it's because I just love when a man shaves. I just think it's one of the sexiest things a man does. I don't know. It's weird. I just think it's just so masculine to be shaving, but that's my weird thing. But Fig Man is a definite great recommendation. Next up is probably the most popular one, and it is a great bestseller. It's one of my favorites, and it's Gris Charnel by BDK. I mean, it's like the one, right? Like everyone loves this. It's a little bit more than fig. It's like fig. It's got violets. So you get a little bit of that violet candy in there. You've got some musk. You've got a dash of cardamom just to give it a little pop, but it doesn't steal the show. It's so easy to wear this and to love this. I mean, I think pretty much everyone loves this. Like my hairdresser's pretty picky and this was the first one that she absolutely fell mad in love with. 
and just needed more. <laughs> this one's so good. It's that violet candy in there that really kind of clinches it for me and makes it really addictive. Like I have a sweet tooth. So that just a touch of that sweet violet, sweet powdery violet mixed in with the creamy fig, fresh fig fruitiness to it. You get that pulp. Uh, it's not one where you get like the whole fig tree kind of a thing but it is a ride or die for me. I love this. I can wear this anywhere. I can wear this casual. I can wear this dressed up casual where I'm just trying to polish myself up a little bit. I can wear this um, with a crisp classic look too, like white blouse and you're put together with like a um, clean polished look. It works with that. It just seems to work with so many different modes. And then third, of course, Gris Charnel, Gris Charnel X Straight also. The X Straight is deeper, richer. I think men tend to favor this over the original, which because of that violet candy can be a little more feminine, where this hones in more on like the cardamom and woods without getting rid of that fig. Here, let's see if I can still smell you here. It's been a really, really long day. Yeah, the, there's definitely really not that violet candy in here. It's really more like woodsy cardamom. It's more about the spice with that fig kind of blended in there. To me, it's almost like more of a dried fig than a fresh off the tree fig. But again, still fantastic. I think this works better in cooler, cooler nights. Let's put it that way. It'll still work year round. It's not going to go cloying. That spiciness is great with a little bit of chill in the air. It's really good. Those cool summer nights, maybe there's a like a summer storm. I think that fragrance is amazing for that, where it's still warm and it's summer, but there's just something you want something cozy but light. That works. It, it, like that, the spices in there, they're not a heavy cloying spice, but they're going to give you that warm, cozy feeling you're looking for in a summer storm. I think it's perfect. Okay. The next one is a more affordable option for you. I'm trying to, when I can, input more affordable options because heck, I love affordable options. And this one I've covered before, it's by Theodorus Calatinis in Greece, and it's Alluring Fig. Yes. I do still love this fragrance. I do still think this is amazing. I think this 50 ml is listed for like 53 euros, I think. It's an amazing deal. That's roughly like $60. He does do some sales with this collection. You don't even really need a sale on them. I think this is a really good price on these. This one is definitely more like my fig tree. I'm walking up, I'm smelling the leaves. I'm then getting the skin of the fig, that beautiful fig scent. And then I'm biting into that strawberry type flesh and I get this creaminess. This one has a sweetness to it. I, I keep that strawberry flesh of the, the fig, the actual pulp of the fruit. I kind of keep that and it hones in on that sugar versus going more fresh or milky kind of with a little bit of that milkiness and then the last one is newer to me it is a newer love and it's by lorenzo pazzaglia Paz and it's by lorenzo pazzaglia pazzaglia <laughs> it's by lorenzo pazzaglia and they are rolling out their distribution. You're going to start finding them more and more places, but I think they also ship internationally. This one is again, it is probably, it, these two are quite similar. I'm not sure you really need both of these, but they do go in different directions. I'm going to tell you that, but they're both like you're walking up to the tree and getting the leaves. You're getting the fruit. You're biting into it. However, you get that milkiness in here. There's a definite milkiness to that fruit, like a creamy milkiness that fig does. However, at dry down, this smells more fresh, like you're still outside leaning against the tree, chewing on your fruit, where this goes more like um, sugary to be blunt. It just goes very sugary. When you smell the comparison, for sure you get it. It goes, um, 
the way the vanilla scent is more of a cookie kind of vanilla, like a hot baked vanilla cookie. This kind of does the same with the fig where it really brings out the sugars in that fruit. And this stays a little more authentic. This one's also, also 50 ml, a little pricier than that one. But again, they're quite similar. I really like this one. Um, I'm gonna be rocking these. So yeah, it was really easy. I went through everything. I even went through lists of fig fragrances, looking them up, whether I owned them or not. And these just floated right to the top. I mean, I went through all of them that I could. I put a lot of research into this. I started this list a long time ago and these are the best ones to me. Again, I would think about that Dior Privé. I think that's another good one too, if you can get your hands on that one. But yeah, these five, these are the best ones. Oh yeah. If you guys aren't subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button. You want to keep me in the feed. You want to make sure you're getting notifications for me. Hit that notification bell. But that wraps this up with my five favorite fig fragrances. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.